back in the Korean Cook Test Kitchen, and in honor of the warm weather and Mother's Day coming up, we are making a perennial classic, some uh, strawberry shortcakes. So I have um, a few simple ingredients here, some flours, sugars, baking powder. Quick note, um, I have grated my butter on a cheese grater and I have put it in the freezer. It stays nice and cold. This way you don't have to work your dough as much. Uh, it incorporates into the flour quicker and it stays cold. The, the colder your, your fats are, your liquids and your butter, the more they're gonna help uh, expand your biscuits when they go in a hot oven and make them more fluffy. So, we'll get started. I use buttermilk in this. Um, some people like to use milk, some people like to use heavy cream, but buttermilk is nice, uh, gives a nice sort of tart flavor. I'm just gonna brush the top with a little bit extra buttermilk to get that nice kind of uh, brown coloring on top. The fat in the buttermilk will brown when it goes in the oven. So this is a relatively wet biscuit dough. Some biscuit doughs are drier, some biscuit doughs are wetter on the wetter side, but um, it makes for a really soft, fluffy biscuit. So off we go in the oven, 375. We'll give it about 12 minutes and then we'll check it. Biscuits are out of the oven. They came out fantastic. Allie and I, the camera lady, have already eaten one. Um, as you can see, they're really big biscuits. I go big or go home, so that's why I made them so big. I made them like dinosaur hopes, but you don't have to. Let's build a strawberry shortcake. I have some whipped cream and some strawberries. The whipped cream has some almond extract and some mint, and the strawberries have been macerated in a healthy dose of Grand Marnier and some mint and some lime, uh, lime zest. So let's, let's build this real quick. All right, so everyone kind of has their own way to do it. What I like to do, if you have your um, berries macerating for a while, you'll get a nice bunch of tablespoons of juice. So I like to take a little of that, pour it down the bottom, get a good, good amount of strawberries. Don't be shy with the whipped cream. I don't usually put it right on top. I just kind of do a little of that. And then a little more juice. More strawberries and one last little dollop on top. You're ready for summer. <laughs> 